The uh, <clears throat> announcement of my cancer to both my friends and family and uh, co-workers, etc., was a very difficult one. Um, but at the same time, it was also a very rewarding announcement because so many people were just instantaneously supportive, uh, dedicating or donating time, effort, and uh, any type of support they can do for both myself and my wife. So there was a, an amazing outreach and outpouring of support. But at the same time, my mother is a uh, breast cancer survivor herself from back in the, the late 70s, early 80s. Uh, and my family was very difficult for them to swallow that their youngest son, who's in his 30s, has been diagnosed with something that's potentially terminal because of the fact that there is so little known about this type of cancer. Uh, and no parent ever wants to go through that, let alone no older brother or sibling uh, should go through it either. And, and so there was a lot of... Um, fear that they had to deal with, there was a lot of emotion that they had to deal with knowing that there's a possibility, whether it be slim or not, that they might outlive their son. So there was that piece of it, but there was also the, uh, the amazing um, acceptance of, okay, you've got it, what can we do to help? And I think that that combined with the fact that my wife and I looked at it and said, okay, we're over the fear part of it now, this is, this is what we have and this is how we have to go after it, I think that helped uh, the reactions from friends and family to be a much more positive and much more of a let's just get through it, let's uh, you know do what we can, whatever we need to do type of attitude than a attitude of despair or uh, uh, infectious uh, uh, fear and, and things like that. So it was a consistently positive and amazing experience for me in terms of how everyone just went out of their way to bring meals, to help drive, to do our lawn for us, to pick up things at the store, and consistently offer to do that was phenomenal. It, it was something that was will always be very, very um, dear to my heart.